Good morning, Deer Park High School. It's Friday, October 4th, 2024. Welcome back to the Deer Network. I'm Michael Smith. And I'm Kaylin Smith. Today, presidential voting information and the many homecoming events. But first, your weekly news. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Student Council is encouraging everyone to participate in their October project called On Wednesdays We Wear Pink. Every Wednesday during the month of October, we'd love to see you wearing pink to show your support for breast cancer survivors, fighters, and victims. The homecoming parade is in a couple days. This Sunday, the parade will take place. Different school organizations gather and decorate floats to get ready for the homecoming parade. Participants can pull a trailer or walk in the parade, which will begin at the Jimmy Burke Activity Center at 5 p.m. and end here at Abshire Stadium. Following the parade, the community will be holding a pep rally on the field with lots of candy and fun. Hope to see you there. Speaking of homecoming, starting Monday, October 7th, Student Council will be selling HOCO tickets to the HOCO Party and Dance. Tickets are $15 and can get into both events. Tickets will be sold at lunch and can be purchased with cash or through My School Bucks. If you plan on bringing a date to the event, please pick up a date form from the AP office or at lunch during ticket sales. All date background checks must be turned in by October 15th. This week's Club of the Week is the Engineering Club. They meet every Friday morning at 8.05 in the CTE Engineering Room. They offer volunteering and career opportunities to prepare for their very own competition. You do not have to be a part of the engineering class to join, and they also provide donuts for their members. If you have any questions, contact Madison Hudgens. The 2024 presidential election is approaching. Seniors, next Monday, October 7th, is the last day to register to vote. If you're turning 18 before or on November 5th, you are still eligible to re register. You must have a US, be a U.S. citizen and have no felony charges against you, which I really hope you don't. Maddie Hemphill and Ali Ramirez found more information for new voters and how significant your ballot is. Take a look. The most fundamental and cornerstone of the electoral processes is young people, right? Um, you all are getting ready to come into your own, whether you're 16 or you're 18, you're able to register to vote. You're getting ready to walk into the real world. It's incumbent upon you all to become a part of the political process. But most important is that uh, you'll become a registered voter. But I think we're in a time in our nation where uh, young people are not only have a voice at the table, but their voices are very important. Every single vote counts, every person's vote counts. So we are just days maybe two weeks or less away from the deadline to get registered to vote. October 7th is the last day to register to vote. So we encourage students to go to harrisvotes.com. That's the biggest hub of uh, election information if you're in Harris County and you are. New voters, uh, I know that maybe the system can be intimidating, right? You're somewhere between the world of what's reality and what is it that I'm seeing on social media and other outlets. It is a uh, opportunity that everyone should take responsibility for, right? Once you're a voter, it's your responsibility. If you care about something, you want your voice to be heard, then you have to step into the arena is what I always say. You can't just step on the sidelines and make your, you know, complain about it. You have to then go cast your ballot and be a voice in the matter. But what's most importantly is doing your research. Voters can go to League of Women Voters Houston's website. It is a nonpartisan document that gives the platforms of everybody on every political spectrum, how they feel, what they're running on. And I think that would be helpful is doing your homework versus just choosing someone because of a political party preference more so understanding what's their platform, what do they care about, and what resonates with you. Are you registered to vote, Michael? I'm literally 16. Oh. Now we turn to Ali Ramirez for sports. This past Wednesday, our girls and boys water polo teams were on the road. The boys took on the North Shore Mustangs and came out with an 11-14 loss. However, our girls played against Fort Bend Austin and won 13 to 10, as well as Gracie Jones getting her 100th career block. Next week, they will both have their first round of playoffs on Monday. The girls will play MacArthur at five and the boys will play Aldine at six. Good luck to both teams. On Tuesday, our tennis team finished off the fall season with an 11 to eight win against Clearbrook. Congrats to our tennis players on a great season. Also on Tuesday, our Lady Deer volleyball team took their first district loss against the Clear Springs Chargers 3-1, but are back on the road tonight to go against the Dickinson Gators at 6. Good luck to our girls. Tonight, our football team travels to Challenger Stadium to take on the 1-4 Clearbrook Wolverines. They look to extend their win streak to 4 and stay undefeated in district. Good luck to them. Thanks, Allie. Fall break is next week. We will have a five-day weekend next Thursday through Monday, so catch up on your sleep and enjoy the time off. In case you forget after the break, this year's homecoming theme is Road to Homecoming, so every day your tile will reflect a different state. 
The Tuesday we come back from fall break is the first day of the Hoko Spirit Week, which kicks off with Hawaii, so dress in your best tropical attire. Wednesday is for Texas, so dress Western. Thursday is Washington, D.C., so be patriotic and wear everything red, white, and blue. Friday is the big day, so dress in your best Deer Park spirit wear. This week's College of the Week is the University of Houston, located here in Houston, Texas. U of H is a public research university and was originally founded as a junior college in 1927. U of H offers over 250 undergraduate and graduate degree programs across a wide range of majors, which includes business, engineering, education, health, law, and the arts. The deadline for fall semester applications are due June 2nd, 2025. That's it for us this week. Be sure to check us out on DeerNetwork.com, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube for more amazing content. For everyone here at the Deer Network, I'm Michael Smith. And I'm Kaylin Smith, wishing you a great day and a wonderful weekend. And, and go, go Deer! deer.